Hello everyone, we were just about to continue our exploration of Village Island. If we go through these caves here, we come to the other side of the village. There's another lookout here, but there's no need for him to uh, warn anyone because, well, they already know we're here. That's uh, the oven we saw, and the altar, the spyglass. Originally, actually, it was the intention of the game designers to have this uh, spyglass follow you around as you were walking around, but it turned out to be a logistical nightmare to have that thing move in every shot that you could see it, and uh, they didn't do it. Okay, over here. Is an arrival. Well, that sound should be familiar already. It is the sound of the beetle. And if we turn this uh, valve here, the pool floods with water. And you can see that it looks like a beetle, with again the eyeball in the position where the eye should be for the beetle. This is the only one of the images that I actually found by myself, that I didn't have to read about afterwards. Because this is obviously a beetle, but I never uh, noticed the frog cave entrance or the work stone formation with the others. So now we have uh, all five balls, we've seen uh, them, there are only five of them. Obviously, because, well, this is Riven and everything comes in fives. The um, Four of them we've actually been able to get to, and one of them is in the water. We've heard the sound of four of them. We've seen an image of three of them. And we're going to need to uh, associate them with uh, animals, all of them. And we already know four of them, because we've heard the sound of the one that doesn't have an image, and we've seen the images of the others. So we're well on our way to solving this puzzle, even if we don't actually know what we're doing it for yet. Okay, let's go down. And here we come to the train. Underwater train. Okay. Now it's underwater. We can see that this thing is now full. And these controls work. I'm actually going to go in the other direction first. So let's turn this thing around. This is something that would normally take you quite a bit of time. Just to figure out where you can go and where all the tracks lead. But I already know that, so I'm just going to take the most efficient route. Now here we are at a uh, fork in the tracks, and this lever controls what direction we'll, we'll go. And I actually want to go right, so that's good. see more evidence here of these holes in the water and it's really bizarre what could be doing that. Okay. Now we can get out, and we're on the opposite side of the village now. On the opposite side of the lake from the village, is what I actually meant to say. The, and 
there's not actually anything we can do with the village from here. We can go up here. There's some levers over there. Two of them are up, three of them are down. And if we look outside, we can see um, the village and we see the uh, work gallows. And we see several of these landings which uh, are used by this train. We see four of them. We know there's a fifth one where we're currently parked. And only one of them is extended, which is the one we started from. And the one we just used to get here is also extended. So that leaves three of them that are not extended. So these levers apparently control these uh, platforms. So let's move the other three up. We look outside now, you see that these are now all extended. Well, you can't actually see this one very well, but it's there and it's extended. So, let's go back down. And go back in here. Turn around. And onward we go. Well, our next stop we want to make is the school. Because it is time for us to do some learning. And I have no school is to the left here, so let's choose the left fork and continue. It's really nice that you have all these different ways of transportation in the game. Keeps the variety up. You're not just walking around, but you're taking underwater trains and maglev cars and things of that nature. And here we are at the school used by the Guild of Educators, which we saw earlier. Here, Gen teaches his uh, teaches the children of Riven basically to worship him. Some interesting things to look at uh, inside the school. This school board has some uh, writing on it. Um, I'm not exactly sure what it says. It's something along the lines of uh, Gen created us. Gen is our god. The uh, Gen something something. <laughs> I know the first word is Gen, and I know the first two sentences, but I've forgotten the third one. Well, you can find it on the internet, if you're really interested. So here, where people are taught to read uh, and write the Dunny language, and to worship Gen. This is a sort of projector, similar to the one we saw in the temple. Where Gen speaks to his uh, loyal subjects, the children. Well, at least he looks uh, cheerful. Take note, this isn't the first time we actually see Gen. Well, wasn't that interesting. The second board is empty. These nice little lamps here with works, uh, work drawings on them. And all around the schoolroom we see these letters. The Dunny letters. I can't actually write, uh, read Dunny. There's some people who can, I can't. It feels like a real schoolroom. There's some fruit here. And 
Somebody's been uh, practicing writing over here. Well, one of the words he spelled wrong is actually Gen. Which is a bit of a stupid thing to do, to get the name of your god wrong. Okay, and it looks like we're out of time again, so... See you next time.